Eternal God, our heavenly and most gracious Father, we thank you, O oh God, this morning for everything that you ever decide to do for us, O oh Lord. You've heard the names that have been lifted up before you, O oh Lord. We ask that you would just come in and sup with us. Now we ask that our attitudes would be encouraged, that we would be better management, we would be better owners, we'd be better drivers, dispatch. We just thank you, God, for this group of people who have decided to come to prayer today. It is in Jesus' name we pray and all of us say it. Amen. 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 It's all right. I'm still going to pray for you. Amen. Thank you. We all get everybody up. <laughs> it was good to be back in Muskogee. There's something special about being out in the open. The people are genuine hard workers and look out for each other. When it comes to Morgan Towing and Recovery's team, I really wanted to dig in and see how they all functioned. As I did, I was blown away by the attention to detail and level of service, and they're never satisfied with where they're at. Sure, no one's perfect, and like any operation, they have their kinks to work out, but what continually impressed me was that if something fell through the cracks, someone was there to step in and catch it. It was like watching a perfectly executed double play in baseball. As one play was in progress, I could see the rest of the team shifting to be ready for the second half. It proved to me that Morgans understands what it means to work together. That level of teamwork doesn't just come from training, however. It comes from wanting to be part of something even more, a family. You know, some people go to work dreading to go to work. I absolutely love this. I wake up every morning going to work like it's my first day on the job, and I'm excited, ready to make the boss understand that I'm a good hand. Even though I guess you could call me the old boss, I still have that mentality to just really want to perform for the customers and, and my people. Because if, if, uh, if, my, if my people see what I'm doing, they're going to try to do just the same. If I want to lay around the office and not do anything, that's exactly what they're going to do. You see what you do, you do what you see. I kind of knew we were going to do a little bit of filming. And I kind of prayed to the good Lord to be able to get something. But obviously no one get hurt. And we, we work every day and understand and, and do believe that we'd like to make a dollar and no one get hurt. And it came to our conclusion that something has happened today and no one's got hurt. And I do want to tell you that if you trust in the Lord and you, you give it all to the Lord, and if any problem it is, no matter what it is, your finances, your health, anything that's going on in your business, if you trust in the Lord, I do believe that everything will come together and uh, will happen in, in, in time. You have to be patient. Um, the Lord will never give you too much you can't handle. We're headed to a tractor trailer, uh, I believe it's an end dump, rolled over over here by uh, 51B. When we get there, we'll get it checked out and see what's going on here. Uh, but whatever it is, I'll guarantee you that uh, we can handle it. Get her taken care of. We'll get started getting rigged up here. Kevin, we'll just have to make sure our brakes are locked. Can I reach it? Okay, I got the door. Just pull the red and On the yellow scene, out. working as a team, the members look out for one another to make sure that each member is safe. Collaboration is also key. Even though Nick was born into towing and even married on a tow truck, he takes input from team members to ensure that they're handling the situation the best way possible. Back to me. This is called a clutch. It almost ensures that you're not going to come on loose. 
and it evenly loads the chain instead of hooking into the chain on the welded side or even on this side you know the welded side obviously is bad but hooking into this part of the chain is how you do it the solid part and then you're trying to cut that chain and you're only pulling on half the chain this this way here you're pulling fully and securely on the actual chain the way it's designed to be pulled on so it's a pretty good device let's go here keep that tight and under the block Kind of like one old brother we're out there. We're in a tight spot. Oh, you got her hung up. Look at that skinny guy. Aluminum buds are sometimes hard to get into. A red strap through the wheels is sometimes a good choice. We like to go over the top to get a little more, more mechanical advantage with the chain. It doesn't have the uh, steel wheels, so we're using the other method here. See what you got now. Many of the employees feel great pride in what they do. They find passion in helping those who are in need of their services. In many ways, those who have been with Nick since the beginning take ownership in being part of the company's success. I feel a lot of pride for Morgan Towing. I feel like that I'm very much a part of Morgan Towing because I've been here through thick and thin. It's not been easy. Um, a lot of times we wondered how I was gonna make the next day. I feel like that, that it's all been worth it, and it's still worth it, and we're still growing, and we're going to get a lot better at what we do. Like it is for most operations across the country, hiring is always a challenge. The long hours, time away from home, and the challenging work make the tow life a difficult profession. The drivers, for instance, are required to work 11-hour days throughout the week and six hours every other weekend. And if duty calls outside these hours, they need to be there to help get the job done. It's a lot to ask, but the job has to be done, and so they're there. It's 4 a.m., and you're there. You're always there, no matter the time, no matter the place, no matter the risk. You don't do it for the glory or the acclaim. You rise to the moment of need and provide critical help and even save the lives of those you serve. So here's to you, to honoring your legacy and to discovering and remembering the legend that you've become. Join us in the journey to both find and showcase the legends of towing. Nominate the towing legends in your life today at omadi.com slash towing dash legend. The list of sponsors is growing every day. Submissions are open from May 3rd to the end of June. Then the top 12 legends will move on to a public round of voting where the winner will be announced just prior to the launch of the season finale of Toe Story on July 12th. When it comes to finding employees that are the right fit, Morgan's has found it's more about attitude than aptitude. While a potential hire's training and background are important, it's much more about a person's willingness to make the sacrifices the tow life requires. Most of the time I'm in a big wrecker, I try to fill in when our mechanic calls in or we have a dispatcher that calls in and I try to be as versatile as I can to help in any situation that's needed at that given time. A good 10 years off and on for 17. Our hardest part is finding somebody that, that wants to be here every day that'll go right now. You can find them, it's just very few far and in between. A few months ago, I, my heart went into AFib, and I'd been in and out of the hospital a few times, and they call me, you know, they make me feel like one of the family. They call you every day, make sure you don't need something, make sure my family doesn't need anything, you know, and I was kind of worried about when I come back if I had a place, you know, here because of my medical reasons, but, you know, Nick told me not to worry about it. He said, I'll make a place for you it's for, you know, as long as you want it, you know, and he, it's been great. I mean, he's found a place for me. You know, I'm gonna be here forever, just doing whatever Nick and Huggy asked for me. Being able to help somebody that I've never met in my life on a daily basis is more of a blessing to me than anything else. The trailer is steel, not aluminum. So it's gonna to try to come a little faster. Uh, obviously this winch is gonna be slower. Just do your thing. Hey, let him try to lead with it. And uh, he gonna try to lead with the tractor and just stay with him. All right, brakes on, everything rigged up. 
ready to start pulling. As that truck's turned over, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong they're doing there. They're keeping it pretty straight, like it was going down the road, just like that, no crazy curvature. Keeping it all together in line. That tractor's gonna try to fall here shortly. And they will just bring the rest of it on down. Good job, right there like that. All right, see the uh, see the tab that holds the cylinder in? It's broke. You have to re-weld it. All you gotta do is re-weld that. Pull that down, it'll set back in that cradle better. I don't know whose property this is, but we're gonna to try to clean this up best we can that way. Nobody knows nothing. When we got here on the scene, we got a couple of pictures of it on the side, but they were pretty adamant about getting it up pretty quick, so we didn't get a whole lot. You know, in a hurry up instance that uh, the leaf springs broke on the trailer, that could have been a, something you could have overlooked on the highway in the heat of the moment when, you, when the highway patrolman's telling you, go, 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 get this thing out of my highway, and it could become a major issue on the highway, but now that it's not on the highway, we were able to look at that and find that, observe, examine the, the problem, the issues that the truck has as it rolled over. You know, and obviously that broke spring was on the uh, low side, which the side it turned over. That could have been the, the failure that caused that truck to turn over. While getting the job done is always the highest priority, the team also doesn't miss an opportunity to have fun. Because of the sheer amount of time the crew spends together, they know how to have a good time. They even spend time together outside of work to get to know one another better and spend time with each other's families. They also do training and certifications together on a regular basis. Each time they work together, they better understand one another's thought Down process. Down here, there ain't nothing else I can do. We've got two straps to pick up, and that's it. I done, I done all the other hard parts. Uh-uh. Oh yeah, I done You did the, what? I done all the hard work. You did all the hard work. I'm just glad you showed up for The wrecker's done all the hard work. Ty done all the hard work. Pushing buttons, that's easy. Hey, wait. Hey. hey, you're a handicap. Nobody asked you. You didn't even get dirty. <laughs> yes, I did. Where? Right there. You rolled in the dirt. Because your big ass fell over. There you go. Don't be careful. Thank you. Thanks again. Thanks again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, buddy. Okay. Thanks, Davey. Team to me is knowing that the guy I'm working next to is going to be there no matter what. He's going to have my back no matter what. They kind of know what I'm thinking, what direction I want to go, in a safe manner. You know, if I didn't have my crew, that's part of my family, I couldn't get this job done. That's why them guys are out here working every day, just like everybody else, trying to make a living, make it home to their family. The bottom line is, teams need to trust each other and to look out for one another. As this happens, teams will be able to work more efficiently and safely to accomplish the job. At Omadi, we have a saying that a rising tide raises all ships. When each member of the team works for the team, opposed to any selfish pursuits, the entire team elevates. After all, Jordan never won a ring until he learned to pass. Once he did that, he won six. He works here. He's part of our family. Yep. So right. we want to remember him, okay? So we are a family. 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 Raised together, stay together. Yeah. We all come from different, uh, many diverse backgrounds, but we're family. We need to start acting like it. Now, Nick and Huggy ain't not mom and daddy, but uh, my mama Cheryl like, like everybody's mom and daddy. <laughs> so what can your company do to become more united? We'd love to hear your thoughts and insights. Until next time, be safe out there. <laughs>